Hey folks, this is Kalani. Now, if you remember, a little while back I showed you the 125 stat food and I was trying to chase it, cooking up all manner of things. Well, I found out how you get your hands on those 125 stat food recipes. And it's kind of more simple than any other recipe for cooking, which is kind of ludicrous, and that's you buy it from your food and drink vendor, Crank. Now, that's going to be different for Alliance, obviously, but you'll have a food and drink vendor here, there, and about near your general goods and repairs, I would assume, and you, you buy them, which is kind of ludicrous. And the worst thing about this, or maybe the best thing about this, depending on which side of the fence you're on, is that it only requires cooking level one. So not only does this kind of completely trivialize everything that cooking was before this recipe, it also sort of trivializes the uh, the feasts, because 100 stat feast isn't going to be as, as good as a 125 stat food. It may require your raiders to be a little more proactive about preparing for raids, but every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Now, it's kind of interesting, because not only are these really easy to come by, you don't need to level up cooking, but the recipe itself is incredibly straightforward. It requires six crescent saber fish flesh. If you aren't into fishing, saber fish can be found anywhere. And then 12 flesh of a specific fish. All of the recipes follow that exact same layout. It just changes the specific fish. So if you want multi-strike food, you go fish for fire ammonite tentacles, you'll get some saber fish along the way, and you'll pretty much be happy. You'll only really need to visit one fishing spot. So, it's really easy all around and the best recipe you can get. So, we'll buy all of those up. 8 gold 50 per one. Really shouldn't set you back all too badly. Now, when you learn them, they go into your fish dishes. So, they're not too difficult to find. And that's, that's pretty much it. They seem to stay yellow until 700. So, if you wanted to, you could level up cooking to 700 incredibly easily, which... You know, another little free ticket there. But if you want to get your hands on this 125 stat food, go ahead and purchase it from your food and drink vendor. Now, the only thing which is still worrying me is that the stamina one is still 125. 125 stamina. Which doesn't make a great deal of sense, because the Talador Surf and Turf, which is the the stamina food from before, which matched up with all the 100 stat food, was 150. So I'm not entirely sure if they're going to change that or whether they completely disregard stamina as a useful stat now on, on your food buff. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, these are incredibly easy to, to come by. They're incredibly cheap. You only need level 1 cooking. And they're, they're easier to make than arguably even a savage feast. So... Go get your hands on some 125 stat food when this patch goes live. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks. Good luck and have fun. And as always, I will see you next time.